I still have one what if that I want to play with this um, virtual machine. And that's one of our graduates. Xero Linux is a name you'll maybe see in Discord. Well, actually Tech Zero and Tech Zero is the name and Xero Linux is the distribution. And um, what I like to do is something called rising. Now I don't have internet. I do have internet, but I don't have a browser. I need to get to the internet. So I'm gonna install Firefox. That means that I have internet. And I'm going to his website. I believe it was, let me think and see on the other screen here. There is the link zero linux.online. He has different links. I don't know what happened, but um, this is gonna work for sure. Zero linux.online gets me where I need to be. Become, then it's called xldb, I think it says. Tag zero.com and just go and, and read. What I'm here to do is just play around with a rice. So there are possibilities of colors. We can make it ourselves. And of course, that is the fun in Linux, make it ourselves. But what if, right? What if I just want to have this look and um, be done with it, right? And start watching television, whatever. So what you need, first off, is uh, recommending the repositories. So adding it to the pacman.conf. I'm not gonna go that way yet, maybe later, but I want to have the look, the feel, right? Uh-huh, I read everything that's the same. Grub theme, maybe, we'll see. Let's see at the Git where it is. So everything is written, not only in Plasma, but in many desktops it's all always about files where are the settings where are the configurations so here is what we should do create a backup and here run installer via install sh just clone this repository that's maybe already technical for people cloning means that you click on this so you have the url which is basically the same thing as the thing up there right mouse click somewhere because we need to get into a terminal which we can't hear Control t then and then git clone Control shift v what happens is you've got a complete set everything that's online is now on your machine it is cd zero nord kit this is what we got and there is an install sh that we should run and I'm gonna run it. Do I need to say yes or something? No, I think everything is working. Okay, now I need to say something. Oops, my password is a very complex password. Nobody can guess. Come on. Ah, there we go. So it's going to install stuff. Ruby, man pages, rainbow things, lolcat is nice. And latte doc is there, quantum qt5 is there. Okay, fine. And then let's read target not found. So this means, oops, everything crashes, which is I suppose normal. Voila, I did change the grub indeed. <laughs> experiment, experiments, right? And we have another cursor. Uh, we do have a rising, right? And not sure if I'm missing lots of things. Probably am because of icons and all that. But this is halfway, probably, because we need to have Pacman conf and all that. So this thing probably needs this as well. So let's see about that. How do we edit these things on a plasma that does not have anything to type? Pseudo pacman minus s. 
sublime text is not going to be there. Kate as pseudo, is it possible? Pseudo Kate. <laughs> Executing Kate with sudo is not possible due to unfixable security vulnerabilities. It's also not necessary. Simply use Kate normally. Okay, that will give us privileges. Okay, cool. That's true. That has changed in the past. It was not possible. So, oh, where is my dolphin? There it is. Probably need some icons, but it's my dolphin is transparent. Oh, where should I go? To here, to here. Python.com. Down there somewhere. This guy. Yeah, that's an effect you can have on plasma. So at the bottom, I guess. Yep, it's in there and saved. Thank you very much, Plasma. Worth of 25, uh, 25 years anniversary. So that's that. Buy for you, buy for you, buy for you. I'll keep you around. Now I need again the dolphin guy on the home we've got zero nord git i'm gonna install sh again open with open terminal install sh oops this probably is gonna get the rest of it so the repo, the repository, contains all kinds of themes. SDM, Nordic theme, Nordic theme, Nordic darker theme. Yeah, if you don't install those, you, you only see half of it. Here's a generated cache that was invalid. So that's icons. Rebooting system. That's why it says so. Rebooting system in five seconds. I missed that the first time. <laughs> that's why we shut down almost got a heart attack that's better and i hope we're complete now let's see waiting there it is we've got a bottom here we have this here nothing to click right mouse click is this we have latte dock here thunar desktop crop customizer thunar did i tell Twin, I did not tell it to install Thunar. Memory usage, and another usage measurer. And that's our discover. Fetching updates. While he's fetching updates, Let's have a look at that dolphin, that gate system settings. So, choices, right? It's always about choices, rising colors. You like green, maybe not, right? Breeze dark, Nordic, Nordic darker, maybe. Apply. Let's have a look. Mm, yep, yeah, bit darker. And then application style. And there's quantum dark. Quantum here, plasma style, Nordic colors, all kinds of colors. That's because of the quantum that we've installed. Quantum, KV, KV stands for quantum. 
windows, decorations, all kinds of them, fonts, not all sounds, a bit small. What I love about Plasma is this idea that you can actually say, um, I want everything in, the, in one go. So, okay, this is set, adjust all fonts. Boom, okay. Uh, wait, what was it again? Size, size 11. Sans, not all sans, for example, font size, select fonts. Okay, boom, <laughs> selected. That's good thinking. That's good engineering. Icons, the Sapphire icons, dark. Cursor is breeze. Launch feedback. Configure application launch feedback. Found man font manager. Sorry, <laughs> found. Breeze, uh, we got the, which one is now used? I think this one is a little bit wider. I don't know, or none, not sure which one is used. This is this one, now becomes apply. I'm not a fan of the splash screens. It's just longer until I get on my system. Voila. Quick look around. My last what if for this virtual box. Some icons you can click, open the standard things, but a new design, right? Uh, does it know I'm living in Belgium? Or do we need to tell them I live in Belgium? Where am I living now? Don't really know. Doesn't really say, does it? Anyway, this is too much. It's cold here. <laughs> it's definitely not Belgium. Sunny, bubble. No, it's cold. Three, four degrees Celsius. That's what we got. <sighs> oh, the icons are gone. Alpha. So there you are, guys. My last uh, what if and theming and rising your desktop. That's why we are on Linux, right? Everything you can see, you can change. Have fun. Cheers.